Hello everybody, Mr. Monroe back here with you for another uh, virtual art activity together. Uh, I gotta say, I really enjoy doing this virtual learning. Uh, although I don't get to see you in person, it's kind of nice to still, uh, you know, have a video to, to work from. Because there's certainly some advantages. Um, you know, you can stop things and rewind things uh, as needed if maybe like you missed a step or something and you need some you know more time you can pause it um, which is pretty nice it's a nice little uh, advantage in fact you have I'm not sure if you know this but you have some special Monroe buttons that you can push yeah when we do our virtual learning together yep you have um, obviously like a play button and um, that kind of thing but I'm not sure if you know about the um, the slow motion button you can push if I'm you know talking too fast you can slow it down and it's right there just go ahead and push the 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 slow mo Monroe button it's right yeah did you see it push it push the yeah and when you push have pushed that button Everything slows down. Push the regular button. Oh, thank you. Okay, I like the. I don't like moving that slow. I, I, let's move it at like a regular pace. But if you know, these, there's just play around with some of those buttons. But be careful not to push the fast forward button because if you push that, oh no, don't, 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 no, don't. You put, you pushed it. There we're today. We're gonna need some things to read for the artwork. We're gonna need some tape. We're gonna need some scissors. We're gonna need some this. We're gonna need some this. We're gonna need some other stuff and, and lots of stuff. Push the regular button, please. Push the regular button. Oh, oh, don't push that button. Don't push the fast forward button. I don't have that kind of stamina. Can't do that. All right, so, but we will have some materials that we're gonna need today, okay? What we're gonna make is something that's based on origami, which is the Japanese uh, art of folding paper. Now we're gonna take it a little bit further than the just folding paper, uh, but we are gonna need paper. So if you have some paper, again, it could be lined paper, it doesn't have to be like this kind of paper. Any kind of paper is kind of okay. Uh, we're gonna need scissors. I know it's the art of folding paper, but we will have to cut this to get it the right size and um, some other cutting that we might need too. Okay, so scissors. Tape, I have um, two different types. I have masking tape or scotch tape, any kind of tape, right? Not VHS tape, that's, that's for the older people in the crowd. Uh, <clears throat> we have yarn. Okay, now um, any kind of yarn or string, uh, any, I mean, anything you can get that's similar to these items. I know it's tough sometimes at home. You might not have this stuff uh, available, but anything that kind of resembles that in any kind of way. And also a bead. I have a bead here. Um, but if you, um, if you need beads or you don't have a bead, uh, you could use like a, for what we're going to use later, a penny or even just crumple up a little piece of paper into a little ball like this. Try not, try not to drop them. Uh, that that would work just fine as well. Okay. So what we're gonna make is actually a, a, a game. Yeah, we're gonna actually make a game because I know you're probably uh, gonna have some moments where you're like sitting at home and you're bored, and maybe you're getting kind of burnt out on all the tech. Um, you know, the video games are starting to kind of burn your eyes out of your skull, right? Too much screen time. Well, this is an old-fashioned sort of game that you can create. And then I'm going to ask you to follow up by, you know, challenging the people in your house to, uh, to, to this activity. I'll talk about that more later. All right, but first, starting with this paper, we want to get this paper sized up, all right? We got to get it the right size. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do, this is probably the trickiest part of this activity is folding the paper over so that this corner, this corner right here, is even with this edge, okay? So I'm gonna show you a few times. 
Okay, again, this is the nice thing about video. You can always kind of rewind it and go back and check it out. But this this top edge, we want it to go even with this edge. So we're going to do kind of like the old paper, paper airplane trick, right? We want this to be like a nice point here. So I'm taking the top edge and I'm going to swing it over so that there's a diagonal line through my paper. And these edges are now lined up, okay? And after I do that... Take your time, you wanna get a nice pointy part right there, right? And then give it a nice crease. Okay, well mine's not perfect. Am I crying about it? No. Am I flipping over the table and getting angry? No. It's not a big deal, right? If you wanna make it a little bit more exact, it's easier to work on the table, right? But remember just to crease it, right? A nice pinch and slide like that. Now, it should look kinda of like a sailboat, right? Or a uh, little grand piano. Ding, 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 ding. Or a shark fin. Dun, 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 Ah! Right? But we don't need this little rectangle down here. So I'm going to use these scissors that I've had since I was in fourth grade. That was back when dinosaurs were around, right? These scissors I've had a very long time. I'm going to use these to cut off this extra little flap of paper here. We do not need that. So we're going to get rid of that. Just cut along that line there, All right? Just remove that extra piece of paper at the bottom, like so. Now, when you look at it, you turn it this way, I've got a triangle shape, right? So it was like this. Now I'm turning it here so that the point is at the top, okay? So I've got the longest edge on the bottom. Looks like a pyramid, right? Now the next step, I'm going to fold, I'm going to fold, if you look closely, I've got two of the same, right? I've got the front part here, and I've got this back part here. I'm going to fold the front part down so the tip is even with the bottom edge, okay? So I'm going to fold it down, so this part, this tip part, I'm going to fold it right down. So it's even with the bottom edge of my paper. And then once I have it where I want it, I'm going to give it a little crease. Okay, The crease is easy to, easier to do if, you, if you're pushing it down on the table. Right? So, you guys with me so far? Good? Remember, you can always rewind and you know uh, check it out if you need to go back for a step. But I folded that part down like that. Now, I'm going to open it up by folding this part forward. And now look, we have a whole other triangle just like the one we just did, right? And I'm going to do the same thing the same way. So with this one, look, I folded it right towards you. And then I folded this piece down. And I'm going to fold this one right towards you the same way, right? Remember, we want to take this and make it down even with the bottom. Okay, so we're going to take this and fold this one forward so it's lined up with now that bottom. It's the same thing we just did, just on the inside. So we have this one, right? And we open it up and we have this one. They're both facing you, right? Those little upside down sort of pyramids now are both facing you. It kind of reminds me of the paper airplanes we used to make when we were little. Or, you, well, you might make still, right? So, cool? All right, now, next step. I'm going to lift this up a little bit. And I'm going to fold. See, I'm gonna, this is the front one. The front one, I'm going to fold it up. Still got it together. And I'm going to fold this guy over. So, see, this edge... Is going to be even with this line. This edge is going to be even with this line. So kind of like that. Okay, and give it a crease. Kind of looks like our guy is like folding his arm in like this. Okay, same thing on the other side. So this edge is going to be even with this line. Right, fold it over. And now it looks like our paper is doing like a Wakanda forever, right? Kind of like that. 
and give it a good crease. Okay. Got it like that. Just pull one over, pull the other over, and then this guy goes down. Like that. Okay. See how we did that? Okay. All right, now, for the next step, we are going to use our yarn and our bead. Or if you don't have a bead, remember you can use like a penny or just a crumple up a piece of little paper, anything that's got a little bit of weight to it. It's gotta have a little bit of weight, all right? Because what we're making is a game and it's a bead catching game. I think I forgot to say that at the very beginning. So we're making a bead catching game and or a something catching, whatever you're catching. Maybe if it's a penny, maybe it's a crumpled up piece of paper, maybe it's a bead, but I'm just gonna try to get this through here. Technical difficulties. My bead doesn't wanna cooperate. Get my thread. Come on, get in here. Alrighty. Four hours later. Sorry, Mr. Munoz moving slowly. And then you can kind of tie it off. Or if you have tape, you can tape it if it's easier. I'm just tying that off. So that you don't want this to come loose. All right, because if we're going to be flinging this thing around. You want it to be pretty strong and sturdy. So that as it we're flinging, this thing is not going to go hit grandpa on the eye or something right so right, you want it to be pretty sturdy now if it's a penny or uh you know anything you've got that's a little bit even a paper clip or something you could probably use you know something like this right a paper clip and sort of hook that to the end it's just got to have a little bit of weight to it right so attach something to one end and the other end remember this guy we're going to open it up and we're gonna tape this end right across here. Just like that, I'll show you. So any kind of tape, I've got some scotch tape here. You can use masking tape, any kind of tape you've got laying around. All right, we're just gonna put the end of that there. Then we wanna tape right across like that, okay? Just a little tape right there to secure it, okay? Now, if you wanna go another further, you can uh, you can add some decorations to this. You know, if you got colors at home, you know, you could personalize this, design it, put your name on it, you know, some cool little symbols or patterns or pictures, right, stuff like that, that's fine. All right, now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Mr. Monroe, how am I supposed, what kind of, game are you talking about that doesn't no that's not how it works okay so what you gotta do now you have like a little looks kind of like a wallet or a letter that you get in the mail but we're gonna open it up okay by pulling those two sides apart okay and if you push the bottom up just a little bit after you open it up if you dent that bottom up a little bit you just made a little cup see now, it's not the kind of cup you want to drink out of. I think that would not go well, right? You'd have a soggy bunch of paper in your hand. Wouldn't be very delicious. Be a big old mess, all right? But I've got a little cup here. And the game works like this. Now, with your... Well, whatever you've got attached, i got a bead here. You're just going to try to get your bead to go in to your cup, right? And now here's the challenge. <laughs> challenge. I dare you to challenge the people in your house to the bead catching game. See who can get the most times in a row. I just got one. I'm not gonna keep going because I'm sure the next time I tried it, it wouldn't go in and I'd embarrass myself. But I'm gonna challenge you to try to see who's the household champion in your home who can get the most times in a row, all right? And uh, and if you want, you could actually, like, send that to me. You can send me and say, like, how many times you got in a row? I'd like to know. It'd be kind of cool to see, like, what's our, our champion record, 
Uh, I don't think we need to verify or document that or anything like that, but just for fun, maybe just let me know how many you got in a row. All right, so that is our origami bead catching game, and good luck with that. May that give you, uh, you know, some a, a break from the screens and a fun little activity. All right, good luck with that, and uh, I, I'm also going to put a little uh, link to. Um, well, no, I'm not. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, good luck with that. All right, I'll see you guys later. Talk to you soon.